Hello, in this tutorial we will see one very light and nice plugin. It's social buttons, it's called social counter. And as you can see, you can download it from codecanyon.net and currently it is only $4. There are many plugins for social buttons, but I found this very reliable and light plugin. Alright, so let's see the plugin in action. Let's download it and see what's inside. Alright, so here's the plugin. And here we can see that there's a documentation. description how to install and how to use this plugin it will allow you to display social buttons from Twitter Facebook Google LinkedIn and stumble upon all right so here are the settings of the plugin as you can see there's very nice documentation and it's very easy to use this plugin all right so let's install this plugin currently it's 11 kilobytes so we will need to install only the plugin, not the documentation itself. All right, so we will use it in this on this website, and let's install the plugin. Here it is. Let's activate the plugin. And now let's see the setting of the plugin. All right, under the settings, you will see that there's a social counter submenu. And let's go and see what's inside. All right, so basically we have two options here to display the plugin horizontally or vertically. And we can choose where to display this plugin on pages or on posts. Right, so let's choose both and let's make the plugin. Uh, let's display the plugin horizontally. So we will display all the buttons here. Of course, you can choose which one to display and which ones to exclude. And we also can play with the style and the background color and the border color of this plugin. Okay, so let's save the changes. And now when we refresh the page, we will see that the plugin is showing here at the end of the article. Okay, so let's change the background color. Let's make it white. And let's save the settings. And now when we refresh the page, we will see that the background color is white. Okay, you can also use this plugin like this, not at the end of the post, but you can display the plugin horizontally and you can set up uh, here, for example, when you click on vertical, you can uh, select the top position and the left position of this plugin. Currently here, I'm having this plugin displaying horizontally. Okay, so if you'd like to learn more about WordPress, Joomla, web design, and search engine optimization, you can visit my website tutorial7.com. Thank you very much for watching this video.